All right, in this video, I'll show you a very simple and easy way to make a text-based uh, archive for your newsletter. So whether you've created your newsletters in PDF formats and emailed them out yourself, or if you have a constant contact or a MailChimp account, you can actually download the PDF versions from there. Now in constant contact, I do believe they have an archive link that you can display them a little bit easier. But if you have them uh, and put them in your media library, this is a simple way. So we're gonna do this in a text-based uh, format. So add a new section. We're going to drag in from Elementor a uh, text section and go over here to the editor. So currently I have um, three newsletters uploaded to the media library. So I'm going to go to the media library. I'm going to find those. And I have those actually in the, um, the folders uh, plug in, which is a great way to organize your media library. So we'll go in here and, and we're going to select all these. And then we're going to insert into post. Uh, what they'll do is you'll see this put in the text link. Uh, now there's not spacing, so you'll want to go in here, uh, find your cursor, and create the spacing between it. Um, so it needs three. So now we have three lines. The other thing that you'll want to do is make sure that these are opening up in a new window. Otherwise, if your user clicks on them here, it's going to open up the page or the PDF in the same tab. You want them to open up in a separate tab so they're not navigating away from your site when they close the PDF. So come here, click on the link, click edit the link and link options, go up to open a new tab, click update. Um, I'm going to come back to that and finish the rest of these, but I want to show you uh, the difference between new tab and opening in the same tab and what that will do to your users. So let's go ahead and view this page. All right. So this first one, you can see we have open in a new tab. That's the one we selected. When you do that, it creates a new tab. Uh, if their user reads it, they can print it. They can download it from here. It's a really accessible way. But when they're done, they typically will close the tab. Uh, and this leaves your, your site open. Now, if you did it in the other way where you haven't selected open in a new tab, watch this, you open up, it opens here, users can click and sometimes they'll lose your site if you they don't hit the back button. So in that case, you always wanna have the open and new tab checked uh, for PDF documents. Okay, now the second part of this is if you wanna add a new new PDF. There's two ways of doing it. I find it fairly easy from the text box here. So what I'm going to do is go on, uh, put my cursor where I want it, go to add media. We're going to upload media. In my case, I am going to check the uh, folders to make sure it goes to the right one. I have one open here on my desktop. So let's just take this up. We'll drop it in there. And you'll see the uh, PDF is uploading. You'll know it's a PDF because you do see the icon and not a preview. Uh, WordPress Media Library does not give you the preview of a PDF, only the icon. So in here, we're going to highlight it and insert into post. And you can see it came here. So again, you got to go in, uh, make sure that it is uh, set to open a new one. And there you go. So you can add, if you have them on a drive, you can add these uh, in bulk in this way um, if you need to. So there you go. Thank you for watching. If you liked what you saw, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button right now. Stay tuned and check out the channel for other interesting and informative videos.